Here is the ancient definition of what the golden ratio is. And this is given to us from mathematicians like Pythagoras and Plato two and a half thousand years ago. And what it really is, it's something based on a trinity of three parts. There's a large part, a small part, and the whole part. So when we talk about um, what's this fascination with the golden ratio, which we call the divine proportion, it's actually based on three components, which I'm going to explain. So um, I wrote this book um, around 2010 and you can in 2012. And this book on the Book of Fire, Volume 1, was actually all handwritten. You can see here, this was um, from 40 years of research on Fibonacci, the Vitruvian Man, the Four Eyes of the Golden Spiral, um, how to generate the golden spiral, the pentacle harmonics. But there is one section here that I'm interested in is the unity in the Trinity. And that's what we're going to talk about now is how does the first part relate to the second part, to the third part, create a universal standard of measuring called the phi harmonics. And so I'll explain that on the board, how we get 1.618. This is the journey of how to explain the um, mathematics of nature. So first of all, the definition is that if we have a line, we'll call this the large. This, this is going to be called the large here. So that's the, the whole thing. But how do we break up a line into a certain section so that it's called the most aesthetic or pleasing or sweet spot of that length. So we need to divide the whole length into a larger part. So, so first of all, we've got, there's the whole, we've got that large or the whole, then we've got a medium. We'll call this, that, that we'll call this the medium is the large. So this is the next part here. And then over here, there's a small part here. So we've successfully divided the line AB um, at C here that's in the sweet spot. So that the proportion of the small to the large is the same as the large is to the whole. So I'm going to write that down. This is a two and a half thousand year old problem. So what's the ratio of the small, which is CB, we'll call that CB, divided by the medium, the large section AC, is in the same ratio as the large, is the same ratio as AC is to the whole. So, so there's AC, the medium, or what we're calling the large, divided by the large. So that, these two, this colon, the two dots, represents a proportion or a ratio. So... AC is the large divided by the whole is AB. And AB, um, if, if AC is 1, if this distance is 1, it works out that this CB is 0.618. So that means the length of AB is the golden ratio 1.618. So how do we derive that? Um, okay, so this is the geometric derivation of how we get phi. And for some reason, in, in the last lecture I gave, we talked about how we need this right angle. This 90 degree angle is the key to creating the phi spiral. Um, so, so we call that the unit square. So if this is one and that's one, I'm going to double the unit square. So you can, you can appreciate now that this rectangle here must be, this is two units going up there. Right? So... What I'm going to do now is I'm, we've defined the base as 1. I'm going to take the diagonal of the double unit square. And with Pythagoras' theorem, we can actually calculate that. We can actually calculate that to be um, 1 squared, the square of this plus the square of that equals the square of the longer side. So this distance here is called root 5. That diagonal is root 5. It has a value like, 2.236 so i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to imagine my compass is here i open up my radius to this distance of root 5 
and I'm going to arc it down and I end up at this point here. So if I didn't use my compass, I brought, I brought it down to there, but I could just take this measurement. I could just get my ruler and say, I'm going to measure that distance from there to there. Oh, that's route five. I'm going to place, place it here and mark it there. So I can just literally measure that distance and put it here. So now I can say that this distance here, the distance from there to there, we just established is root five. Um, and I just want to say without this five, without five fingers, five toes, five petals on the flower, the mathematics of living flowers, if without this fiveness, there is no golden ratio. This is the key to all the mysteries in the universe, the square root of five. That means the square root of root, well, root five is 2.236. And what that means is that when you multiply 2.236 dot, dot, dot again, that's how you get the number five. So two, this is called the root of five. Now the formula for the golden ratio, the, we, if we take the midpoint, so, so this distance from, if this is one, so this distance is one, and this distance is root five here, that means the whole distance from there to there is one plus root five. I'm gonna write that down. It's one plus the root of five. Now, if I want to divide that line in half, I'm gonna divide this by two, and I find the midpoint of that distance of one plus root five divided by two, and it just happens to be the phi ratio. So that symbol phi is 1.618, dot, dot, dot. So that's the geometrical derivation to establish how do we get 1.618. So essentially we do have to know this formula for the golden ratio, one plus the root five divided by two. I've shown you the mystery was how do we express root five? Well, it's the diagonal of the double square. So um, I really enjoy showing this because this is the fundamentals. This is like the bones that forms a skeleton of a higher structure of ancient knowledge. And this is merely the beginning because I don't know if you can see this other working out here, but when we express this as an equation, um, when I said the small to the medium is the medium to the large, we have to find another value for x here. So the, the distance to find the golden ratio, if that's one, this is called the external division of phi. There's another distance here called x. And to, to calculate this value of x, which the Arabs called the unknown, we end up with an equation that x is to one, the small part is to the large part, x over one is the same as the one is to the whole length. So one is in the same ratio as the whole length, but the whole length, is expressed as one plus x. So here, the Arabs invented this algebra with the unknown, and I'm not gonna finish this off. I'm just showing you that with, with the algebraic expression of the unknown x, x over one is in the same ratio as one over x plus one. This opens up a whole portal of divine knowledge. And, and we need to, um, understand this if you really want to become an expert on the divine proportion we have to understand a bit of algebra and what i would like to do is that if you are keen to learn about the quadratic equations and the roots of phi um, which are very very specific entities um, i'll be explaining that in our emerging online e-course on the golden ratio so there's a lot more to come this was just an introduction. This is part one of our e-course. And if you want to know more, we're going to do part two, which is the advanced knowledge. I hope you enjoyed this and that you appreciate how this connects us to our ancestors.